All right, guys, there's no denying it that Draken makes excellent watches at incredible prices. So we're going to take a quick look at this guy here, hopefully get this video out to you before the pre-order drops, because if the regular prices are crazy, the pre-order prices are just insane. So uh, Draken Arake, I think is how we're going to pronounce this one, um, they sent over this guy here which is technically the vector model of the series or the vector series of the model or something there's four different ones and i guess i'll just drop the pictures in at the very end of the video of the other three because there's a flieger style there's a zulu style and there's a mil spec style my problem with it is i like all four well i'm not gonna buy all four but i'm probably gonna pick up another one the pre-order price is only $350, which I think is just great. Uh, even at full retail, $399 is a heck of a deal. I think we have a very unique watch here, a very unique package, and just a stunning uh, you know, execution here. I really like what I'm looking at here. All right, let's talk specs. So size, 39.1 millimeter case. Although the case does kind of taper down a little bit, like most Draken watches, they do taper down a little bit. Uh, this one's not as steep as some of the previous models I've handled, uh, but being a 39.1, it's already kind of a small watch. The lug to lug is a 46.4, also very short lug to lug in you know general sense of watches. Uh, drilled lugs, a nice turn down to those. Thickness only 12.5 millimeter. You have a uh, slightly proud of the bezel, uh, sapphire crystal, of course, uh, full stainless case, all brushed, you know, no polished edges here, just a nice fine brushing. And a 20 millimeter lug width here, and then you have a six millimeter screw down crown that's really offset, uh, tucked in there uh, tight, kind of like you would see on, say, like uh, Squally 1521. The difference is, is you can access this one. Like, I have no problem grabbing this one. Um, it sticks out far enough and it has excellent knurling on it to aid in that traction. Also love the small seconds. It kind of cleans up and balances the dial to no date. The movement inside is a Miyota 82S5. So yeah, it's the 8000 series, which I know a lot of people are, are gonna say they prefer the 9000 series from Miyota, but quite frankly, um, these new eight series ones, they hack and they whine just like the nine series ones. So, I'm fine with it. Like, I don't have a problem with it. If it gives me a little bit better price and you can do configurations like this where you have the small seconds in this layout, then uh, I say use it. I have no problems with it at all. The anti-magnetic properties on this watch is also pretty high at uh, 20,000 amp meters, so that's pretty good. Loom on this, like all Drakens, is going to be very good. Very nice, heavy dose of... X1C3 and BGW9. So I think we have two different colors on this guy as well. You can also see down there in the uh, Riyadh or chapter ring, whatever you want to call it, assembled in New Zealand. Very cool indeed. Really love that. And some people could take it or leave it with the name being etched on the side, but that's pretty much a signature of the brand at this point. 100 meter water resist, in case I forgot to mention that. Let's take a look at the case back. There you go. This is an example model. But it comes with this strap, okay? Which is kind of a heavy duty, almost like mill spec style one. And then it, when it was shipped to me, it was actually sent on this leather, but it's also within a bund configuration. Now, that's really good and it might work best for me because of the size of the watch. However, I wore it on a FKM rubber when I first, I took everything off because I'm just not a big fan on the longer NATOs and everything. I took it all off and I just put it on an FKM rubber uh, standard length and uh, I wore it on that for like days and it worked perfect. I'm just not a big fan of these, you know, fabric straps that uh, have the, the extra length to them where you gotta like fold over the bit. Uh, I know you can wear it another way. Maybe I'll try that. I don't know. See, like even now I'm struggling with getting it tucked just because it is a thicker material. The, the problem I have with it though is I love the way they look. 
Like, it just looks cool. I just don't like to wear it like that. I mean, maybe I'll warm up to it. That's actually not too bad. That's pretty comfortable. But you can see it's just a great looking watch. Um, if it'll focus, maybe better. There you go. Um, let's pop this strap off and we'll put the, uh, we'll go ahead and put the leather one on too. I, I'm not going to be able to put the, the uh, bun configuration on just because that requires me to take the spring bars off and everything, but just for, I do like it on the leather too. There's enough space in between the case and the spring bars to make this actually pretty doable as well. But you can see it has a nice look to it with the brown leather as well. Let's move that handset out of the way so we can do the loom shot. These are going to be launched uh, directly on their website on March 17th, which is not too far away. I'm recording this on the 9th. So I'm going to get this video out to you guys because I want you to be ready. In case you didn't know, I want you to be ready. So, all right, let's kill the lights and check the loom out on this thing. And then I just wish you good luck. Pick out, mostly luck with picking which particular model you want. So I love that, the, the loom. And then they tied in the BGW9 at the cardinal positions, the 12, 3, 6, and 9. Well done. What a great brand. And then, of course, like you have this one in the background here, this full loom dial. They're just doing it. Great watches for killer prices. Check them out if you haven't checked them out. I'll see you on the next vid.